Greetings everyone, Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 18th November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court while setting aside bail granted to a rape accused has held that the need of custodial trial is not a relevant aspect while considering a bail application under Section 439 of the CRPC. The court has held that impediment of additional accused subsequent to the filing of a check bounce complaint is not permissible once limitation period prescribed for taking cognizance of the offence under Section 142 of the Negotiable Instruments Act has expired. The court, while granting bail to a rape accused, has observed that time taken by a rape survivor to come out of trauma and shock needs to be taken into account when examining the delay in registering a first information report. The Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, has announced the full court decision taken that each of the 13 benches will hear 10 bail applications and 10 transfer petitions every day, thereby disposing of 130 cases per day and 650 per week. News highlights from the High Courts, starting with the Kerala High Court. The Kerala High Court has directed Police and Enforcement Wing of Motor Vehicles Department to take strict action against the unauthorized use of national and state emblems as well as government boards on vehicles. The High Court, while observing that law does not recognize any indefeasible right in the lowest bidder to be awarded a contract, has held that even if tender process had been validly initiated, municipality is vested with the authority to cancel the process for valid reasons and call for fresh tenders. News highlights from other courts in the country. The Madhya Pradesh High Court has held that Section 10 of MP Freedom of Religion Act 2021, which requires a person desiring to convert religion to give a declaration in this regard to the district magistrate, to be prima facie unconstitutional. The Madras High Court has held that proceedings under Section 12 of the Domestic Violence Act can be challenged in High Court only under Article 227 of the Constitution and not by invoking the court's power under Section 482 of the CRPC. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.